Yes, mates. Right, before we even get into it, I haven't included Asia or 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover in this video because I figured there's already loads of videos out there that will teach you how to play those tunes. So in my search for some grooves that were less well covered, I found three bangers that were all recorded in the 70s, hence the name An Era of Gad. This video is dedicated to my two drum teachers growing up, Nathan Evans and Rod Coombs. They're both legends and they both love Steve Gad. Let's have it. Yes, my dudes, I'm Alex, and thanks for checking out another video. The first tune we're gonna get into is Chick Corea, Lenore. This tune is an open-handed linear ripper based in 16th notes. Your left hand is playing up on the hi-hat, and then your right hand is gonna play between your floor tom and your snare drum. Personally, I'm thinking about this groove in four individual patterns. Beat one, you're playing right, left, left, right. Beat two, you're playing left, right, right, left. Beat three, you're gonna play kick, right, left, kick. And then beat four, you're gonna play right, left, kick, kick. Your right hand is going to play a floor tom on beat 1 and the E of beat 3 and then the rest of the time it's going to play on the snare drum so just watch out for where you want to play an accent and where you want to play some ghost notes. You can experiment with which toms you hit but today I'm just going to play it all down on the floor tom so start slow and gradually push up your tempo. Let's give it a go as a track. next tune we're going to look at is Weather Report and then actually this beat only happens for a really short amount of time but it's a wicked sounding groove so let's break it down. So you've got this big push on the and of beat 4 where you're going to either hit your bass drum and crash or your bass drum and open hi-hat and let it ring out over the bar line. For the most part we join back in on the and of beat 1 with the rhythm and the 2 e and the 3 and 4 and. The sticking for those fast 16th notes is right, right, left, right, right, left. And it sounds to me like sometimes Steve Gadd will add in an extra snare drum on the E of beat one, leading into that phrase. We want to play an accent on beat two and the and of beat three, and then all the other snare drums we can play as ghost notes. For this demonstration, I'm just swapping between the two variations, but have a listen to the track so that you can catch Steve Gadd's phrase in. And the last tune we're going to look at is a proper chiller with a laid back feel. It's Ricky Lee Jones, Chucky's in Love. So I've written out the intro groove and although I've written it out straight, it is played with a swung feel. For the most part, it's based around an 8th note groove with some 16th note placements on the bass drum. We've got some buzz rolls to watch out for, one that leads into the groove and one that leads out of the groove into the verse of the tune. And it sounds to me like sometimes Steve Gadd will add in some extra hi-hats and sometimes he'll leave out some of those 8th note hi-hats, but this is definitely a feel thing rather than being a motif of the groove. Now although it's a pretty laid back groove, he did manage to sneak in a little 30 second note lick in that second bar, the cheeky boy. It's going to be played on beat 3 of the bar with a sticking, kick left, left, right, right, left, Left, left kick. It's really important to ghost note your left hand here. This is a pretty slow one, so it's all about committing to the notes that you play and trying to make it groove. Let's give it a go with the tune. There we go mate, three grooves from Steve Gadd and what more can I say, he's undeniably sick. This is going to be the last lesson of the year from me, so if you celebrate Christmas, have a sick one, have a happy new year and I'll catch you in 2022. I've got loads of videos planned for the new year, so if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel if you want to stay in the loop. And a big shout out to anybody who's already hit the button to join the Wednesday crew man, you legends, I'll catch you in the next lesson.